Hey you guys, we are in downtown Birmingham and of course, if you want to know about this city, you want to know about the pros and the cons. So today we're going to give you 15 pros and cons about living in this big beautiful city of Birmingham, Alabama. Pro number one, this is a big city, but it has a small town feel. There's about a million people that live in the metro area of Birmingham. And even though that sounds like a lot of people, when you're here, it doesn't feel big at all. It is very much a small town feel in a large city. Yes. Pro number two for Birmingham, Alabama is the home affordability. So what we did was we took uh, several houses, the prices of those homes from several different parts of the city, pulled them together, and the average that we came up with was about 370,000. That is unofficial. but. Um, that was a real glance at the numbers. Pro number three for Birmingham, Alabama is low property taxes. Oh my gosh, as we work with investors from all over the country, the biggest thing that drives them to Birmingham, Alabama is the low uh, property tax. Pro number four for Birmingham, Alabama is it actually has an international airport. So it actually services over 38 countries. So if you're coming into Birmingham or leaving to a different country, Birmingham can take care of you. The number five pro for Birmingham, Alabama is food and drink. Oh my gosh, this town has got so many restaurants, fantastic restaurants, and a, a brewery trail of craft breweries that are so cool. Pe people like um, um, Good People Brewing, Birmingham District Brewing, um, back 40 brewing so many cool things to see here and then from and restaurant then restaurants I mean award-winning restaurants like automatic seafood Helen uh, Bottega I mean there are so many restaurants in this city like you could spend a day just traveling around looking at restaurants the six pro for Birmingham Alabama is this is an active city there is so much to do here from the region's baseball field with the local uh, baseball team there is uh, Oak, Park, Mountain, Oak Mountain Park, Red Mountain, you have Alabama Theater, Lyric, the McWayne Center. <laughs> uh, there are parks all over the city so that you can get out and enjoy some beautiful sunshine. There's the Vulcan statue in Vulcan Park that overlooks the city. Uh, there is at Red Mountain Park some old iron ore mines. So a lot of history, a lot of activity. Uh, there is a really strong running group here in Birmingham if you like to run. Um, again, a strong group of uh, cyclists to cycle around Central Alabama. So lots to do here in the outdoor area. Pro number seven for Birmingham, Alabama is location. This city is, I mean, you're what, two and a half hours to um, Chattanooga, you're a couple of hours to Atlanta, you're only about three and a half hours to the beach, so location in Birmingham is excellent. Point number eight, pro, this is my most favorite <laughs> pro for Alabama. Um, we average 210 days of sunshine in the Magic City. That is worth a visit all by itself. That makes you happy, right? <laughs> it does. Okay, so we, you know, are natives to, Bur or I'm a native to Birmingham, and so natives always know what the cons of the city are as well. So con, actually con number one, two, and three all <laughs> have to do with the weather. So number one, um, in, in Alabama, there is a significant chance for extreme weather. So we're talking about things like tornadoes. So just so you know, that is a possibility in the Birmingham, Alabama area. That's right. Sometimes we have buyers say, where is the house that never gets hit by the tornado and there's no answer to that question. Right, right. Okay. Um, con number two again has to do with weather. In the summer in Birmingham, it can be mid to upper 90s and like 100% humidity. So um, it will make your hair frizz and your face glisten. Con number three for Birmingham, Alabama. And our northern friends will find this humorous. It doesn't really snow here that it much. It does not. But it will ice. Yeah. And so it can get cold and and uh, be be winter weathery, but not really that nice fluffy stuff that's easy to get around on. So sometimes right. you want to make sure you've got two or three days worth of groceries because you might be stuck at home for a day or two, right? right? Also the ice making the roads dangerous. So that is something that's different than maybe our northern friends would have. 
Wait, number five for Birmingham, Alabama. We is. are lacking Major League Baseball teams, NFL football teams, and uh, NBA basketball right. teams. Now, not, not to take away that's from right. the Birmingham Barons, which are awesome. Also, the Birmingham Bulls. That's right. Um, and, of course, this is Alabama. Some so. of the best football in the country here yes. with Alabama and Auburn and the rivalry that goes along with those guys. Right. So, con number six for... This is one of your biggest, right? <laughs> Outside of the heat and humidity, this one probably it's the get, yeah. bugs. Bugs, oh my goodness. So, once it gets, like, even kind of warm outside, you're going to have gnats flying all around your face. At the same time, you're going to be swatting gigantic mosquitoes off of you. So, um, in the summertime, definitely, you're going to have to battle the bug. And our last one, number seven con for Birmingham, Alabama, even with all of the growth, with all of the um, restaurants and business and hospitals and all the things that are going on in Birmingham, Alabama, we still actually have adopted the national minimum wage, which is $7.25. We love this city. We love getting in all the nooks and crannies and finding the amazing places in this city. And we wanted to share the best of and maybe some of the things that aren't as ideal. But so, it's real though, right? It is real. So if you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. We'd always love to be your real estate resource for you. Feel free to always call me at 205-368-5995. Or if you have questions, shoot us an email at info at mbbrownrealty.com. Bye, you guys.